welcome to today's video. My name is Trisha and this is Casper, my blue-eyed leucistic ball python. And today we're gonna to be talking about nocturnal species and different tips for them. So I figured why not take Casper out? You guys haven't seen him in a minute and he has gotten so big. Like, look at him. It just blows my mind and he's so beautiful. So I'm not gonna keep him out for the entire video but I wanted to show you guys him because he is so cute. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We also have a Chacho today. Um, Chacho is not nocturnal, but that's okay. It's all right, he's welcome, he's always welcome. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. First of all, I am so happy today because normally I'm not really a fan of cloudy days, but the last couple of videos I've made, I've literally been blinded in here and it's been so sunny. So I was like really happy for a cloudy day today because I can see today. Like it's amazing. It's such a gift. What are you doing, you clumsy? Yes. So the very first tip when it comes to keeping nocturnal reptiles is to make sure that all of the lights are off at nighttime. A lot of the times people think that if they have a nocturnal species, that they can't see at night. So they need to put lights on. That is false. Um, they can see they're built and equipped to be able to see at nighttime in the dark. So they need that dark. It actually will be beneficial for them and it gives them a nice day night cycle. That way they know like when it's nighttime, when they wanna come out and start looking for food, just as they naturally would in the wild. So as always, you're just trying your best to mimic natural order in the world if your animal are out in the wild um, when you're keeping it in captivity. So best thing to do is have it be dark at nighttime. Um, and then some people might do it because they want to see their animal, but you got to keep in mind like it's more important to put the animal's needs above your own. So turn the lights off at nighttime. They should be off for 12 hours at night. And then depending on what heating and whatever you have for your animals, if they even need it, because some geckos don't even need heat, you can turn that stuff on if need be during the day. But nocturnal species need that dark at nighttime. Another concern that people have is that um, it will be too cold for them at nighttime. So it's very important to always research the temperature for your reptile. And people always look at the day temps, but it's important to look at the night temps too. Um, some species need actually quite a bit of a drop at nighttime. So people aren't aware of that because they aren't necessarily looking for that information even when they're doing their research. So it is something to pay attention to. And depending on the species that you have and the temperature of your room when you turn the lights off, um, you just need to make sure that you're measuring that and keeping track. And if it does get too cold and it drops below the range for your animal at nighttime for it to be a safe temperature, um, my recommendation is not to turn any heating or lighting on. You can use a ceramic heat emitter, which will give some heat, but it's not going to um, emit any lights. So you still want it dark. Um, another thing that I usually recommend to people, especially during the winter months, because I have to do it for my animals, is to use a space heater in the entire room just to increase the overall ambient temperature to make sure that it is still a safe temperature for your animals but you're still giving them a little bit of a drop in temperature at night too, because that's also natural and it's something that they need, especially for these nocturnal species. If you have an animal like a ball python, it's super easy because a lot of people just use a heat pad for them and there's no light. So they get like the natural light during the day and then at nighttime it's dark and then they always have that heated area that they can go to. Number two is to only judge their activity levels based on nighttime. So a lot of people will get nocturnal species and they think that their snake doesn't do anything. This happens all the time with ball pythons and people think that they are just very inactive snakes, but it's because they're sleeping all day. So the thing is you got to pay attention to them at nighttime. Uh, that's the only way to truly know the true activity level of your nocturnal species is to see how active it is at nighttime. Um, and if you're giving them a lot of like naturalistic things for them to climb on and enrichment and hides and foliage and different things for them to do to keep their brains occupied, they will utilize it and they will show that activity. You just won't see it until nighttime. So just something to be aware of um, because it's just a very common misunderstanding that I see with a lot of snakes. And then even geckos that I have, like my gargoyle geckos and crested geckos, 
I don't see them during the day, like at all. I only see them at nighttime, so that's the only time to judge their activity. Number three is I recommend to do cleaning during the day for any nocturnal species that you may have. Um, this is because at nighttime these animals are going to be like wired and most likely looking to hunt because that is the natural time that they would be doing so. And because of that, they're more inclined to see you as a predator or potential food, depending on the species you have, even if it's a gecko, like they're going to be looking for food at nighttime. So if you want to avoid all of the drama of a really hyped up animal at nighttime, um, the best thing to do is clean during the day. Honestly, you can see better during the day. You have daylight. The animal will be asleep. So it's easier to take them out if you have to put them in a separate container or even just clean around them if you're spot cleaning uh, because they're just gonna be asleep. So you can get all of your stuff done uh, without interrupting them too horribly and they aren't gonna be making it difficult for you to actually clean their environment. So that is why I recommend that. Number four is very similar to number three and it is that I personally, people won't agree with this, but I personally recommend handling nocturnal species during the day if you can. Uh, the reason why I recommend this is because again at nighttime these animals are going to be in like hunt drive. They're going to be looking for food. They're going to be like at a level 10. They're going to be aware of their surroundings. They are going to be running away from you. It's going to be extremely difficult for you to handle certain species that are nocturnal at nighttime because that is their prime time. So if you are wanting to hold a gecko or even a snake, I would recommend to just do it during the day because they'll be asleep you can find them. They won't be like running away from you because they're completely wide awake and you can kind of just pick them up. Yeah, you are disrupting them a bit. That's why it's not good to just overhandle these animals and do it all the time. But if you need to take them out to clean the enclosure or do something like that, um, it's just way easier to try handling during the day, um, especially for my geckos too, because geckos are jumpy and fast depending on some of the gecko species that you have. Um, all of the arboreal ones will just be like out of here. So it's just way easier to handle any of them if need be during the day. Number five is to feed your reptiles at nighttime. So because they're nocturnal, and again, I've mentioned it like 60 times during this video already, these animals want to hunt at night. That is their natural time that they would be looking for food. So that is the most natural time to actually feed them. Um, and then that is a great way for you to see their activity. You get to watch them hunt and it's a fun way to actually see your animal do something because again, they're just sleeping during the day so it's not too exciting during the day. Um, and a lot of the times if you do try to feed these animals during the day, they just might not even eat at all. They might not be interested because it is not their natural feeding time. So it's best to just wait until nighttime for all nocturnal species. That way it's just more natural for them. Number six is to be aware of the sounds that your potential nocturnal species can make uh, because some people just aren't aware and they get animals and then they realize, oh no, this animal is barking or croaking or making all of these crazy vocalizations at nighttime because that is their prime time and that is the time they're awake and that's the time that they're looking for mates. So this happens a lot of the time with frogs. This happens a lot of the time with tokay geckos and other possible gecko species that do do vocalizations. I personally don't keep any that do that. Um, so I am pretty good. I do hear crickets chirping 24 seven, but that's just my life and I'm used to it. Um, but if you are a light sleeper and you get an animal, just be aware of the possible vocalizations of a nocturnal species before you bring it home because it might be ruining your sleep for the rest of your days. And you should probably be aware of that before making the decision. Number seven, I've kind of mentioned, just be aware that if you get a nocturnal species, there is a chance that you may not ever even see it during the day. Uh, they're gonna be sleeping, they're gonna be tucking themselves away and trying to remain hidden. So that way they aren't completely exposed and vulnerable to potential predators. So, 
it's not the most fun to keep nocturnal species if you are a person that is awake during the day and spending your time with your animals during the day. That is why I love my like active animals that are awake during the day, um, like my chameleons and my tortoise. Like, I actually get to see them. My geckos, I don't see. I'm lucky with Metamora, my green tree python, because she is nocturnal, but she is a species that will just be out on display the entire day, even though she's sleeping. And then at nighttime, it's a whole other ball game, and she's literally all over her enclosure. Um, so it's just something to be aware of. I don't want people to get a nocturnal species and expect anything different during the day and be like expecting to see her animal all the time and be able to interact with it and feed it during the day and all of these things because it's just not natural for them. Uh, but if you're a night owl, it would be perfect for you because you'll be up at night and you can like see them and interact with them and get to see them out and about doing things naturally in their habitat. So those are my tips for nocturnal species. If you guys can come up with any others, please go ahead and leave it in my comment section. I would love to hear it and I hope that this video was helpful and I will see you guys in the next one.